Hello everyone. Today we will be creating a digital painting using Blender Grease Pencil. I have already sketched out the basic elements including the sky island, trees, mountain and the island itself. Now we will refine the sketch using Blender 3.4. Don't worry if you are using a different version. The process remains the same. Let's begin uh, by adding some materials here. To draw the clouds, we will use a normal pen brush with a solid black material. I am using a white background color. The hex code of the background color is F9FAB to create the illusion of the island floating in the sky. Next I will lower the opacity of the lines and create a new layer named clouds using the line tool. I will sketch out the cloud shapes which can be further adjusted using the smooth tool. Now let's create a new layer called cloud fill. We will add a material to this cloud and use a gradient color effect. Adjust the material settings to achieve your desired gradient color. The paint bucket tool will help you fill the colors with the clouds smoothly. Play around with the location, rotation and the gradient rotation option to create colorful effects. You can also use the sculpt tool to reduce the brush stroke, size and apply a th uh, thickness modifier to further adjust the strokes. Apply the modifier in object mode and use the layer mask option to restrict the effect of the mask to the cloud layer. No, uh, thickness. And I'm reducing the thickness factor here. Then you can see the effect. You have to apply in the object mode.
Next, let's experiment with the different colors to create gradient look. Feel free to make changes later as needed. Now let's move uh, on to drawing the mountain. In this case, we won't use the fill-in option for the mountain. Instead, we will use only strokes. If you prefer to use the fill bucket tool, make sure to fill any gaps using strokes. To fill the mountain, let's add another material. I'll reduce the color intensity to clearly see the lines. We will utilize the vertex paint mode to quickly change colors without creating new materials. This mode offers two color options, and I'll use it to apply color directly to the drawing. Working with the Sculpt tool in Grease Pencil makes the process much easier. It's valuable addition to digital drawing software. You can use the Sculpt mode to smooth the strokes by first selecting them in Edit mode. It makes the process much more easier. Now let's select another color in the vertex paint mode. The mountain might not look perfect initially, but with the addition of shadows and lighting effects, the overall drawing will improve. Don't hesitate to change colors accordingly.
when drawing a landscape like this consider the light source in this case uh, i imagine the light coming from the side of the mountain therefore i will use shading and other light effects throughout the mountain Now let's add shadows uh, and highlights to enhance the overall effect. Whether you use flat colors or gradients, shadows and highlights can greatly improve your vector. Pay attention to the colors. The color combination as they play a crucial role in your drawing. While still in the vertex paint mode, we can use the sculpt mode to reduce the size of the stroke lines. Simply press the control key to access the sculpt tool. In the sculpt tool, you have to press the control key, then select the strokes you want to edit in the edit mode. Make sure to press the control key while selecting the relevant tool. To further refine the strokes, switch to the sculpt mode. Select the strokes and choose the smooth tool while holding the control key. This will allow you to reduce their size and create the desired effect. The separation between mountain ranges can be achieved by using the Sculpt Mods Smooth tool. In the Draw mode, you can add highlights using Vertex Color Paint. This showcases the potential of Vertex Paint in Grease Pencil. Typically, I use different materials for different layers. However, in this drawing, I am using the vertex color paint mode. You may notice some rough lines around the clouds, but don't worry, they won't appear in the same way in the final rendering.
Now let's create a new gradient material for the drawing. In the material paint mode, I am setting up a new material called new mountain fill gradient. Throughout the process, we will switch between material painting and vertex painting. Adjust the alpha value and blending mode for the secondary color. and make any necessary stroke adjustments. Here you can change and adjust the alpha value and adjust in the blending mode for the secondary color using a sculpt mode again Feel free to experiment with various values such as rotation, location, blend and alpha to achieve the best result. Here I am changing the location, scale and alpha values of the gradient to suit my needs. I am satisfied with the adjustments I made. Next I will reduce the size of this uh, shape, keeping in mind that size adjustments may affect the gradient values. Let's create another material. This time to highlight the top of the mountain. By highlighting that light source, we can further enhance the drawing. In edit mode, select the stroke and make any necessary adjustments in the sculpt mode. Further adjustments can be made to achieve the desired effect. In the drawing mode, you can experiment with gradient values to refine the look. I believe uh, this looks good. Now let's hide all the layers.
moving on i'll draw uh, the base of the island without using straws instead i'll use fill material allowing for more freedom in drawing i'll reduce the uh, opacity and switch to vertex paint mode yeah, i am still in the material mode then reduce the opacity make sure you are on the correct layer and use various colors to add highlights and shadows to the layer remember perfection is uh, not crucial at this stage as we can make final adjustments later in the vertex paint mode uh, you can switch between colors to create highlights and shadows now uh, i am creating a new drawing layer and material using the material as a gradient material i'll draw the grass using only the fill in option to smooth in the strokes select them and use the sculpt mods smooth tool this technique works particularly well with grassy areas Let's create another layer for the waterfall. Make sure this layer is positioned below the ground layer. This is in below the ground layer. apply adjustments as needed to achieve the desired effect
and hide the mountain uh, to get a rough idea of the overall composition using the square tool here. I'll draw these effects using the square tool. Do not worry about the shape. You can use the sculpt mode and use the smooth tool. Then we can adjust the shapes of these highlights in the water. Now it's look uh, perfect. So uh, using the same square tool with a gradient material, I'll draw the waterfall here. Further adjustments can be made using this sculpt tool. Experiment with the different tools in the sculpt mode to discover their effects and find the best approach for your digital drawing. You have the flexibility to change the shape of the waterfall. Using the brush tool in vertex paint mode, I'll add highlights to the water. This effect adds a more realistic touch to the waterfall. I believe this looks good. You can make further adjustments using the edit tool. Use the edit tool for the selection. Make adjustments using the sculpt mode. In the sculpt mode, various tools can be utilized for additional refinements. To draw water bubbles, use the arc drawing tool. We can use this simple shape, no matter about the complexity.
if desired you can change the color of the bubbles here you can draw some highlights Moving on, I'll draw some trees around the surface of the island. In vertex paint mode, I used four different colors to represent the these trees. Additionally, I added a small floating island with a small tree. The sculpt mode in grease pencil. Yes, it uh, offers a lot of creative possibilities. Enjoy exploring its features. Always ensure that you are working on the correct drawing layer. and using the appropriate material You can apply layer masks to create painting like this. As you can see, I have added a layer mask here. You can see the tick before the mask. And I have selected the mask for the land. The land means this part of the island. You can make a selection of the strokes and the fill or layers. The clouds can be mirrored along the x axis. To do this, you can mirror the clouds uh, pressing Ctrl D to duplicate and place the duplicate where desired. Now you can observe the final result of the painting. 